Welcome back to Magnus Arena. Pioneers, some scary moments in the last couple minutes as Miami came back from a 4-1 deficit, but Denver pulls away at the end, wins it 6-3. And joining me, head coach Jim Montgomery. And coach, for the vast majority of this game, the team did everything that you pretty much talked about in the pregame as far as getting to the dirty spots, creating offensive opportunities, and, and basically playing Pioneer hockey. Yeah, I, I liked how uh, we had someone in front of the net. I, I thought on three of our uh, first four goals, we had someone in front of the net, and then the fifth goal, Stobby did a great job of screening on plant school. I don't know if he deflected it or not or what. And then it was awesome to see Stobby on a tough day for him when his grandmother passed away to get that empty net goal. It's um, For a great kid, a great pioneer, it's a good way to tribute to his grandmother. Yeah, and he was set up beautifully by Troy Terry uh, in that third period, and Larkin made this amazing save to deny him, and to see him get that empty net goal at the end was was just really a special moment. But Troy Terry tonight, four assists for Troy, two goals for Dylan Gambrell, and, and just how important were those two goals in that first period because you guys have been struggling so hard to get goals. Yeah, I mean, they were important, and it was it, it's unreal, like uh, – Obviously, Troy Terry was, was dynamic tonight, and it's good to have the jet lag out of his body. But uh, Dylan Gambrell is an amazing hockey player when he tacks inside the dots and he looks to shoot. And that's what happened on those first two goals. And then I just liked the whole team. All four lines, you know, were being relentless. I thought we weren't great to start the first four minutes of the second. But then we took over again. And then in the third, I thought Miami must have got a little bit yelled at. They were a lot more physical uh, in the third, trying to finish every check. And that happens sometimes when, you know, as a coach, you're not happy with uh, how your team's performing and effort. Well, and it really happened twice when they when it was three nothing and and they scored to make it three one. It it gave Miami so much more momentum. Now that was a three on one going the other way. I wasn't sure if it was a bad line change or or just a couple of guys uh, couldn't get back in time. Well, we lost the battle on the wall and we had three people outside the dots and um, our high forward dove down. So. Um, it was a calamity of errors. <laughs> well, uh, Denver gets the big win. You've got one game remaining in the regular season tomorrow night. And, of course, uh, still getting ready for the uh, the postseason next weekend and, and to try to get that number one seed in the pairwise rankings. But uh, is that anything that you guys are even thinking about right now? Well, number one overall, I don't know if we can catch St. Cloud, to be honest. But, you know, if, if we have success and uh, right through um, with uh, – the NCHC playoffs, uh, the other teams falter. They're going to be losing the teams that aren't even in the top 15, the top 20. So the chance of surpassing some of those is, is good if we have success. All right, well, tomorrow night, Miami, right back here again. What are some of the things you want to see Denver do better? Uh, we want to continue uh, to uh, improve upon uh, getting dirty areas offensively. Um, and then we just can't have the mental lapses like we did. Like that guy, It was a lucky goal. I don't know how the third one went in. It was you? a pass that went off of a, off a stick or a, yeah. a body part. Yeah. And, but he just had way too much time, and that's just uh, it's, it's a lack. What happened is I thought they were going to pull the goalie, and I drew up how we would kill uh, like in zone against a pull goalie situation. And one player thought we were, the goalie was pulled when. They <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes you just have to do the math. Yeah. <laughs> but oddly enough, it was, it was there was a face off, so you could look down the other end, and see the goalie in there. Well, of course, Borgstrom misses the empty net from 100 feet. He hits he the miss post. It. Hit the post. No, he shot it, deflected off the guy back, and it deflected it at the post. Oh, okay. Wow. He doesn't miss from there. No, no, no not an empty net. No. All right. Well, Denver with a big win. Thanks for taking the time, Coach. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Good job. All right. That's uh, Coach Montgomery. We're going to wrap things up when we come back with the high energy player of the game with J.J. Lane on Sports Radio 104.3 The Fan.